Metal carbonates and acid are a little bit more fun because they're going to produce a salt, water, but they're also going to produce carbon dioxide. Remember the test for carbon dioxide is that clear lime water turns milky. So you're going to set up sodium carbonate, a table. Sodium carbonate, calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid each, and sodium carbonate, calcium carbonate with sulfuric acid. Let's just do one of the examples. If I go calcium carbonate, calcium has a valency of 2, carbonate has a valency of 2, and let's use sulfuric acid, H2SO4. I am going to get calcium sulfate again. I always use the metal, and when I've got sulfuric acid, as sulfate. Hydrochloric acid, a chloride. Phosphoric acid, a phosphate. Nitric acid, a nitrate. Calcium has a valency of 2, sulfate has a valency of 2, so that all works out well. Water and carbon dioxide. Turns out, 1 calcium, 1 calcium, 1 carbon, 1 carbon, 3 oxygens, 7 oxygens, 4, 5, 6, 7 oxygens, 2 hydrogens, 2 hydrogens, 1 sulfur, 1 sulfur. And you get a balanced equation. This particular reaction that we're going to watch isn't one of the prescribed ones, but it is quite interesting to watch from the So we're going to have the reaction between zinc carbonate and sulfuric acid. I'm going to add some zinc carbonate in to the reaction vessel. It's white powder. Put some sulfuric acid onto that. It immediately starts bubbling like crazy. I'm not sure why they decided they also needed to heat it. You're getting pl plenty of carbon dioxide already, but anyway, they decided they wanted to heat it as well. And you've got a delivery tube here and the bubbles of gas are going into clear lime water and it's quite clear that that clear lime water is going milky. You then, after you've constructed the table and completed it, need to try these four general equations, potassium carbonate and sulfuric acid, potassium sulfate will be the salt, aluminium carbonate and nitric acid, aluminium nitrate will be the salt, etc. And you land up with potassium carbonate, sulfuric acid, potassium sulfate, water, and carbon dioxide.